Okay. Say test, test. Test, test. Freedom first start internally. Um, in you having peace of mind, a levels of awareness, and then from you channel that in any surrounding, then you will create freedom on the physical plane, you know. But it first starts within, and then that concept of a peaceful and a sustainable way of life in how you go about, you know, taking care of your well-being is some levels of freedom, you know what I'm saying? So it can create in any surrounding, it doesn't matter, it just starts, you know, within the mind and the things them that create your world, you know, and yeah, that fulfillment. My definition of freedom is the opportunity to be who I really am and do the things that I am called to do, to, to become the person that I'm really meant to be, fully. Owning your own, like, own your own farms, food, things like that, basically, um... Living that, life by our means, basically. Yeah. Kind of, kind of what we do now. I mean, yeah, where it's just exactly no responsibilities. You just live off the land. You know, it's it's just free. My definition of freedom is liberation, um, sovereignty, autonomy. Uh, freedom to me, even by definition, is the people who's self-sufficient, people who are self-governing, based upon the rules and the structure of their culture. My definition of freedom is peace of mind. Um, I don't think anything is, you know, free in this world, but when it comes down to freedom, I believe it's more internal than external. Do you feel like you found that in Tanzania? Who, yes. Yes, I feel that I found um, freedom here in Tanzania because number one, it's naturally peaceful, just naturally peaceful. And also just the, um, the people are just so kind and sweet that it doesn't constantly feel like there's pressure. You know, like I'm from New York, I lived in New Jersey, I've, you know, lived on the East Coast and I've also lived in uh, California and constantly having that type of pressure. But here you feel like you have freedom because of the people and the openness of Tanzania. Totally Kabisa. <laughs> Kabisa. I say uh, every morning when I get up, I go outside in my yard and I have found that that's where I feel closest to God and where I do my prayer. And many days, part of my prayer is Niko Salama Niko Huru. I am free, I am safe. I, have, I feel more free and more safe than I have ever felt in my life being here in Tanzania. I would say yes, yes and no to a degree. I say yes because I can have the freedom to wear what I want without feeling ashamed. I can wear my hair how I want, uh, even before I cut it, uh, how I want and, feel, and not feel ashamed about it. I can express myself based upon my identity without being questioned or slandered of who I am. Uh, I would say no, just because simply you still somewhat see the Western influence over here. And I believe we're kind of in a gap right now, uh, like a tug of war. It can either go back to the ancient way or it can go towards the Western society right now. Um, to, to be real, most part, you know, not all. Um, they still each, but just like anywhere else on earth, you know, it has this challenge too. You know, it's just where you decide to take on that challenge, you know. And for most part here in Tanzania, accommodate me to, to you know, wanting to be here and take up that challenge in terms of being fully free, you know.